How we're going to buy a review of War Witch, written and directed by Kim Nugent and stars Rachel Mwanza and Serge Kanenda. Il fallait aussi que je prenne à faire couler mes larmes dans ma tête pour pas qu'il voit quand je pleure. Tu vas peut-être pas me croire. Mais je suis la seule de mon village qui a résisté au bal du gouvernement. Alors ils ont décidé que j'étais une sorcière. In War Witch, otherwise known as Rebel, a girl named Kimona is abducted at the age of 12 by rebel forces to make her into a child soldier for an African Civil War. I didn't know this until after the fact, but War Witch was actually nominated for Best Foreign Film at the 85th Academy Awards. And the reason I didn't remember this is probably because of the title change. I don't exactly know why, but title changes have always bothered me a bit. But what can you do about it? It's for marketing. First off, what's special about Warwick is that it paints a very realistic picture of the horrendous events that take place in Africa from a day-to-day -day basis. And I have to mention that the film gets pretty heavy in certain situations, and when I say heavy, I'm not talking about what you see on screen. Unlike some films that feel like a pulse need to show everything, this film does a tremendous job at doing a lot, but by showing very little. For instance, instead of showing someone getting blasted to bits, the film looks to the person who's committing the act, which I found to be very effective. The performance by Rachel Monza is quite outstanding considering this is her first film and that she's stepping up to the challenge of playing a very tortured soul. Her character Kimona ages within the time span of the film and she does a great job at looking as well as acting the part. Serge Kenyatta plays a boy who goes by the name of Magician. He plays Kimona's boyfriend, and although he's not given as much as his fellow colleague, he's still really good. The problems with War Witch, and I'm using that word almost loosely, is that the film does sort of wander aimlessly. Out of War Witch's runtime of 1 hour and 30 minutes, the first 30 minutes is primarily devoted to Kimona experiencing the life of a child soldier. However, the second 30 minutes is primarily devoted to a love story. During this second act, the film does a total backflip and almost becomes a totally different movie. I totally get why this is in the film, but I couldn't help but think that this part felt slightly disjointed in the way it was presented. Now let me clarify, I did like this part of the story, but to be honest, I did find the first 30 minutes to be more intriguing. As for the last 30 minutes, I can't say much obviously because of spoilers, but the film just felt slightly abrupt and rushed while the film was wrapping itself up. Overall, I had a really hard time deciding what rating I should give this film. However, I have come to a conclusion. It's a really good film, but I can't see myself giving this film anything higher than a high 3.5 out of 5. War Witch is a very admirable film. Do check it out. I'm Colin Kirkland, and thanks for watching.